Good afternoon, viewers. Your teacher today is Dr. Bosa Science. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. Today, 24th September 2020, we are going to look at autotrophic nutrition, A level biology. This is the synthesis of organic compounds from inorganic sources. There are two types. Chemosynthesis is the synthesis of organic compounds from carbon dioxide and water using energy from oxidation of inorganic compounds such as hydrogen sulfide and ammonia. B, photosynthesis. This is the synthesis of organic compounds from carbon dioxide and water using energy from sunlight. Importance of autotrophic nutrition. Sugars produced are used to form structures of animals and plants. Sugars produced in autotrophic nutrition are source of energy to animal. Three, products of photosynthesis are sources of fuel. For example, firewood and petroleum products. Then four, photosynthesis maintain balance between carbon dioxide and oxygen. Photosynthesis consumes the carbon dioxide from atmosphere and produces oxygen into atmosphere. At night, oxygen is used for respiration to produce carbon dioxide. During the day, oxygen is produced, carbon dioxide is used. Conditions necessary for photosynthesis A, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is the source of carbon in carbohydrates. An experiment to show that carbon dioxide is necessary for photosynthesis. One, two potted plants are kept in the dark for three days to remove starch. Then the leaf from each plant is tested for the presence of starch and the starch must be absent. Two, one of the potted plants is put in a barrel jar where there is a burning candle to provide carbon dioxide. Another is enclosed in a barrel jar containing sodium dioxide to absorb carbon dioxide. The two potted plants are left in light for three hours to allow photosynthesis to take place. After three hours, a leaf from each plant is tested for presence of starch. A leaf from a plant where there was carbon dioxide is found to contain starch. This indicates that carbon dioxide is necessary for photosynthesis. B, water provides hydrogen for synthesis of carbohydrates. C, light provides energy for photosynthesis. An experiment to show that light is necessary for photosynthesis. A plant is kept in the dark for 48 hours and the plant is transferred to light. After three hours, a leaf is tested for starch. It will be found to contain starch showing that light is necessary for photosynthesis. Wavelength of light best for photosynthesis. The action spectrum above shows the wavelength most effective for photosynthesis. From the graph of action spectrum, the wavelength used by chlorophyll is blue-violet, 550-400 nanometers, and the orange, 600-700 nanometers. However, bacterial chlorophyll or purple bacteria absorb ultraviolet light 
and infrared part of the spectra. The difference in wavelengths optimum to synthesis in both plants and bacteria enable the bacteria to survive under the weeds in the pond because bacteria absorb different wavelengths of light, plants absorb different wavelengths of the, the spectrum. After the plants have absorbed the part of the spectrum they need, there will be still part of the spectrum for the bacteria to absorb. Still on factors necessary for photosynthesis, you have chlorophyll. To show that chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis, we test for starch in a variegated leaf. Which we find out that parts that contain the chlorophyll will contain starch, while others will not contain starch. Then E at table temperature. Limiting factors of photosynthesis. Law of limiting factors states that a physiological process is limited by a factor in the short supply. How can we tell that a factor is in the short supply? Is that when we increase its concentration and the rate increases, then it is in the short supply. But when you increase its concentration and the rate does not change, then it is no longer a limiting factor. When we come to the graph 0 and 1, light is the limiting factor because increasing the amount of light increases the rate of photosynthesis. After 1, light ceases to be a limiting factor because increasing the amount of light ceases to increase the rate of photosynthesis. Then between 1 and 2, carbon dioxide is the limiting factor because increasing carbon dioxide concentration increase the rate of photosynthesis. After two, carbon dioxide ceases to be the limiting factor because increasing the concentration of carbon dioxide ceases to increase the rate of photosynthesis. Now between the two and the three, temperature is the limiting factor because increasing temperature increases the rate of photosynthesis. After here, probably, Chlorophyll becomes the limiting factor. The leaf, this is the main organ of photosynthesis. Other functions of leaves include gaseous exchange through the stomata, transpiration through the stomata, cools the plant. Three, some leaves have tendrils for support, for example, P. Four, some leaves are used for vegetative reproduction. For example, Briophyllum. Five, some leaves are modified for water and food storage. For example, Briophyllum. Six, some leaves have got thorns and eating hairs for protection. Eight, some leaves are brightly colored to attract pollinators. For example, Bogeneville. Eight some leaves produce poisonous, for example, tobacco. And nine some leaves trap and digest insects to obtain nitrogen. For example, venus trap fly. Cross section of the leaf. The upper epidermis is one cell of thick. It is covered by a waxy cuticle to prevent water loss and for protection. The parasite layer consists of columnar cells with a high concentration of chloroplast for efficient photosynthesis. The mesophyll layer is made up loosely packed cells to leave air spaces for gaseous exchange. It also has some chloroplasts for photosynthesis. The vasitula bando transport water to the leaf and also cut away, manufacture the food from the leaf to other parts of the plant. The upper and lower epidemis may be perforated with stomata to allow gaseous exchange and the transpiration. 
Adaptation is of leaves for photosynthesis. On a few cell thick to allow penetration of light and gases. Presence of chloroplast to absorb light for photosynthesis. Contain xylem to supply water. Contain xylem to color when manufacture the food for other parts of the plant. Spend your muscle fill has got air spaces to facilitate gaseous diffusion. They are blood to provide a large surface area for absorption of light. Seven, they contain stomata for gaseous exchange. Eight, they are arranged in a mosaic manner on the plant such that each leaf receives light. Adaptation is of leaves to their functions. This is different from adaptation of leaves to photosynthesis because the leaves have got different functions. For photosynthesis, the fatty and the surface produce diffusion gradient, cyanide wax cuticle to reduce water loss, mosaic arrangement increase light absorption, may have tendrils for support, this is not for photosynthesis, the character attract pollinators, fresh to store water, Seven, have vegetative structures for vegetative reproduction. Some leaves are modified to trap insects. Thank you very much. Find notes, the reason question is, and answers on this website, digitalteachers.co.ug. Please subscribe to promote my website and also receive prompt messages every time a new video is uploaded.